So Nick. Yes. If you could have any current artist cover a classic song, who would it be covering what song? And why? That's a good one. Okay. I wrote down a couple things. I couldn't I couldn't pick exactly what I wanted to do because some of them were like genuinely dumb ideas that I kind of just wanted to like talk about an artist I like. Um, <laughs> but uh, this was the funniest one to me that for a second almost seemed like it could totally work. Um, I am going to say, uh, I'm going to say the song is Take On Me, originally done by uh -huh. AHA. But I want to hear it, and I think it would be done really well if done by Judas Priest. The, I, I don't know a lot of musicians who can hit that note with like the Rob Halford. I mean Rob Halford, and I think it would be really interesting to hear that song if it came out today, because Judas Priest would have like kind of a heavier edge on that song, Hell yeah. which is like yeah, oh, totally. Um, which is like it's kind of it's a really dark song actually. You know, all the synthesizers are very dark, and the kind of the era is very dark, and there's like a change that's like kind of super very 80s, but it's like 80s dark, you know. Uh, I think it would be cool to to hear, you know, Rob Halford, you know, ting, ah, boom, you know, microphones blowing out. What's his name? KK Downing. You know, Paul muting and stuff. Uh, yeah. So my my first pick, uh, definitely Judas Priest, uh, today releasing "Take on Me" as originally done by Aha. That would be sweet. That was, that was that was sweet. Sweet. <laughs> my choice. Since I've been playing a lot of Trivium lately. I think it'd be sweet if Trivium did Holy Wars. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> because a lot of the, uh, since I've been playing a lot of the bass lines and everything, I'm just like, man, this is totally like the shredding solos. It's totally up their alley, dude. So I was like, yeah, this is gonna be sweet. All right, so my first pick is the Oingo Boingo song, No One Lives Forever. Oh. Yeah. Interesting choice. Soul, dude. You know, something fucking matters. Don't worry too much. You make yourself sad. You can't change fate. It don't feel so bad. Done by none other than Rammstein. Holy sh! What? Can you imagine oh, that, that whole like dit, 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 on the oh, yeah. keyboard or on the synth? I think that would be really killer. What would do that keyboard part? Would that be another keyboard or would that be a guitar or what? <laughs> well, it's normally like a horn section, yeah. but I think if they had their synth sound doing that, boop, 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 that would be rad. And then just having Till's voice all low doing the, the vocal line. I can't do it. I have a sort of a higher voice, but um, <laughs> so that would be my first choice. Anyway, go ahead and ask me a question. <laughs> All right, Mr. Williams. Yeah. So the premise for today's questioning is: if a current musician, uh, so you, you take a very, very, very classic, well-known song, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and let's say a musician that is currently performing that performing music 
were to release that song today as a brand new song, they would absolutely kill it. They would own it. Who is that musician and what is that song? All right. First one, like I said, is like, not necessarily predictable per se, but like, I could see it. You know what I mean? It's not like a, oh, that's an interesting choice. It's like, oh yeah, okay. And it's I Want You Back by Wolfpack. Oh! I could, they would just do it perfectly. Oh my Theo God. singing that, dude? Could you imagine Theo singing that? Yeah. Beautiful. Would be the correct choice. Yeah, absolutely. And that high register, fucking gorgeous. And then Joe, everything, everything would be fucking perfect if Wolf picked it. I want you back by the Jackson Five. So that's like a relatively obvious choice. Was that Jamerson playing bass on that track? No, actually, it's Alfred something or other. I actually learned that from Jack Stratton in a YouTube video. Um, it was just a session guy, Motown session dude. It wasn't Jamerson. All right, so Nick, what would be your second choice for the same question but stated above? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. I want to hear, I picked a bunch of them, man, but I want to hear the song, I Want to Dance with Somebody, right? I want to dance with somebody. Whitney Houston, right? I want to hear, I want to dance with somebody if it were released today. I think it would be an absolute banger if Rihanna did it. I love Rihanna, and like there was a, the the uh, yeah diamonds. In the... She can hit <laughs> notes, true. right? True. She can totally hit those notes, and it sounds great. So if they did, I want to dance with somebody. It would be like that great pop dance hit, but it would kind of have that club kind of feel. And I really like that style of music. Like I love, I love pop music. I love hip hop. I love that kind of stuff. I'm obviously like a huge metalhead from way back when, but that's kind of like right now where I'm at, I'm sort of super into that kind of music. And uh, and I just think like, although there are a lot of singers that could do it really, really well, again, I think Beyonce could sing the hell out of it um, cause she's got the pipes. I think to hear Rihanna do it would give a little bit of that kind of toughness, because she's, she's like a badass chick, right? Like, yeah. Rihanna's rad. Uh, it would give it kind of that badass chick vibe, um, but at the same time, she's still got the pipes to back it up. For my second one, I had a lot. But, since you picked Rihanna, I'm not gonna pick Rihanna, because I already had a run for Rihanna. You did? Can I play, can I pick a third? Just, just to throw it out there? That'll be, how about that'll be like the after credit. Okay, okay, I won't say it right now. Um, my second one would have been uh, Bruno Mars doing Respect by Aretha Franklin. Wow. I'm just saying, because I can hear it and be like, dude, he can, he can totally do that. He can totally pull that off. Bruno Mars doing respect by Rita Franklin, that would be sick. Right? I mean, be right yeah, up the he's alley. Totally right. I hear yeah. It in my head. Yeah. So I was like, I had a lot of time at work, so I was just like, I was like, how are you? Yeah. I don't even know how to spell it, but. No. <laughs> my second choice should come as no surprise because it features both of my favorite bands. But I would love to hear 2112. Done by none other than Metallica. Because that. Do you really think they could do that? Well, here's the thing: is 
Somewhat recently, they did a medley of uh, rainbow songs with Theo. And Hetfield just kind of sings it in the octave below. So you, instead of hitting the, the Getty notes, just, just bring it down to the Hetfield register. But just that intro of the overture, that dun, dun, bun, right? Just in their current tone. Because that there's it's no doubt that that's like a heavy song. When you hear like the more recent live versions of it, it's heavy as hell. And I just think in Metallica's current tone, doing even if they just did Overture and Temples, would be so killer. I would love to hear that. My next choice, I was actually very very proud of because I'm like I can still hear it in my head and it, it would be fucking sick. Happy Together by the Turtles, right? Imagine me and you. I do. About you day and night, it's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. You know the song? Happy Trent Reznor. Imagine that like somber ass verse, him doing it in his like, imagine me and you with like synths and shit. Somebody fucking run me the check right now. Could you imagine, imagine me and you, I do, I think about you. That'd be fucking crazy. So, uh, if the mic wasn't attached to the ceiling, I'd fucking drop it. Yeah. Oh, so, so your honorable mention, I picked Rihanna, but you also picked Rihanna. I did pick Rihanna. What did you pick Rihanna for? I picked Rihanna for Madonna. Oh, hey, they run. That's fun. Which one? <laughs> for, uh, I can't think of it right now. That's but, a, uh, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, you know, if you like that one, it's yeah, pretty it's good. <laughs> like a virgin. The reason why I say that is because she's so, like you said, it's like it's, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. That's the only yeah, one I, that's it. that's the only one I had.